हेलो फ्रेंड्स मैं आई एम मनी एंड टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस एल्बोरिथम्स एनालिसिस एंड सो व्हाट इज द एल्बोरिथम एनालिसिस फर्स्ट आई ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड just computer science students to compute their program with the one another so you may have noticed that it is a common for the computer programming to look very similar especially the simple ones so some interesting questions often arises when the two programming solve two programs solve the same problem but look are different in the one program better than the others so in order to answer the questions we need to remember that there is an important difference between program and the underlying algorithm that the program is representing so we started like a algorithm analysis so like a program on the other hand you can say it is an algorithm that has been encoded into some programming language so there may be the many program of the same algorithms and depending on the programmer and programming language being used so first i try to solve discuss here the function solver familiar problems computing the sum of the first n integers and the algorithms used uses um, the idea of an accumulators variables that is initialized to zero so algorithm is a generic step by step it list of construction for solving a problem yeah it, it is a method for solving any instance of the problem such that given a particular input the algorithm produced the desired result so this is the main aim to algorithms so let's see algo jitne analysis so first just i told you algorithm used to idea and the accumulate the variable that is initialized to zero the solution is i treat that the n integers added each to the accumulator so first create or define d e f functions like a s u m and write of underscore n and it represent as a n or uh, sum of n here yeah, right sum of n and n now colon then you put here automatically indentations will come and the sum the sum Yeah, you can write here the underscore sum will equal to zero. So algorithm uses the idea of and the accumulators variables that is initialized to zero. So I have defined this one sum will equal to zero. 
now it is represent for loop for i in range i in range i am using the range where it will start from 1 comma n plus 1 will start from 1 and you can edit continuously this one and then we can write here the sum again the underscore sum parenthesis no then it will be the equal equal i have already taken the previous loop like a the sum so it will edit the the sum and plus one now return plus one then use a return because I am using for so return the sum the score sum and then print print parenthesis sum underscore of underscore n and need here 10 so let's see Return the sum I in parenthesis. So this is my algorithms. It shows like the sum of the n number, but I have taken here the n will equal to ten. So now <coughs> excuse me. So I have gotten some mistake here. So sorry, not a dot. Yeah, it has been created like a ten. So now look the functions now i am going to use here so print sum of n 10 is 10 and if i apply here functions f o o so first we can see the sum strange but upon the further inspections you can see these functions is essentially doing the same things as the previous one just I am using so the reason of this is not the obvious is a poor coding but we did not use a good identifier names to assist when a readability so and we use an extra assignment and a statement during the accumulation steps and that was that was not a really necessary so let's try here if I use here div 4 and if I write any name like a okay 
टर्म एंड पैरेंसिस कोलोन देन I am taking a variable f r e d fred will equal to zero. Another, I am using the same as a for will in range range. So you can write here one just. Yeah, it is just similar. Just I can write here one comma tom plus one tom plus one and this one for bill for I keep here a four plus one. No, no, sorry. So now you can use the another variable, Barney B C R will equal to bill, and then I can use. Fair equal to plus B A Barney. Then we can go here. Return. Add and print. So and look at this. So let's see. Just uh, I think I'm using the same way, but look here. What happened? So the question we raised earlier asks whether one function is the better than another. So the answer depends on your criteria. So the function sum of underscore of underscore n is certainly better than the function f o if you are connected with reliability. So in fact, you have a probably seen many examples in this, uh, like a like whenever you study uh, introductory programming courses. So one of the goal there is to help you to write a program that are easy to read. And easy to understand. So in this course, try to understand how to characterize the algorithm itself. But why are you getting a different answer? I think here means in look here. I have written the same way, but this is a as a linguistic way, like in English literature. But here, I think we need to go back. No, no. Yeah. So print and for. Look here. Define sum n as a okay. Tom, I have taken the sum zero. It will start from the four. Then in a range. A range and here I in a range and this one 
Maybe we will call to build and the sum is equal to and x red will equal to red plus bin okay this time and return will equal to this right so this is a way to we can easily try to understand write this so let's the algorithms analysis is the concern with uh, comparing the algorithms based upon the amount of computing resources that each algorithms use we want to able to consider two algorithms and say that one is a better than the other because it is the more efficient and its use of those resources or perhaps because it is a simple use fewer so as the alternative space uh, requirement we can analyze and uh, compare our algorithm based the amount of the time they require to execute and this measure is sometimes referred to as the execution times and running times of algorithms one way we concern the measure the execution time of the function sum underscore of underscore n is to do a benchmark analysis and the this means that we will track the actual time required for the program to compare the result so in python we can benchmark of functions by not not uh, noting the starting time and ending times with the respect to the systems we are using in the time models and functions called the time will return the current systems clock time in second and some arbitrary starting point so by calling this functions twice and let's try here so first i am first i need to correct this one previous just i have written but Let's try this one. So, can I write here the one more times? Copy and paste V. And now I am going to write here after that this one and V. Okay, just I think go back. And let's try this one. No, again, this time I'm getting the same problem. Let's see. I'm getting the same problem. Therefore, so let's try this one. In the sum, where is the sum? Will equal to the sum. Okay. This one. right we have so let's see just uh, i think i have got in the some mistake here diff sum of the n and n i have corrected this one 
and it will score some will equal to 0 for i in range 1 and n plus 1 thus sum let's put sum the sum plus 1 and that is return return sum and underscore then plus 1 and the return so let's see I think I okay 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 it's just I have got in the same mistake here um, because I have a taken here so let's see just I did a mistake so let's see so both has a given the same result so I was trying to why are you getting up so one mistakes and another mistakes here so let's see I have written the both of the but one is the easy way another is the something look like this but for reading purpose this uh, is a good first is a good and so let's import a some time and I try to solve here So first I am going to write here import time. Yeah, I am using the Google Colab. So I have imported a time. Now I am using algorithm analysis. So let's try here dev. So define sum you can write down less power n and something no problem you can create the one functions n underscore to write something and parenthesis n so i have defined one functions like a sum underscore of n underscore two and this one colon let's start start this will equal to time dot time dot time this one and this the underscore sum the underscore sum will equal to zero and I am using for I in range I in a range and it will start from the 1 and n plus 1 then the sum the underscore sum will equal to the underscore sum plus i plus i And now in end will equal to 
टाइम डॉक टाइम एक और जाइए देखें टाइम डॉक टाइम तो टाइम डॉक टाइम एंड पैरेंटेसिस टाइम रिटर्न डॉ अंडरस्कोर सम कॉमा इन इन एंड इट विल सब्सट्रैक्ट स्टार एंड माइनस End minus star. Let's see. So the code shows the original sum of underscore n functions with the timing called call embedded from before and after the summation. So the functions return or tuple consisting of the return and the amount of time required for the calculation if we perform five innovative in occasions of the functions each computing of the sum of the first 10000 integer we get something so let's try first so if i am going to use here a start and going to use here for for i in range so what happened now the print then this 5 then for okay no 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 for will be start from here Time. So for define so I think for should we start from here because already I have defined here for i and I have written time dot time time dot time because first time I have taken. Then we yeah, need to write here something. Okay, let's see. So need to write here print. What do we want to the print here? So print. This one mm, sum is. Sum is like a date time. Sum is like a percentage day required percentage ten percentage. Ten point seven f seconds seconds. 
then after that percentage sum of into sum of I think sum of sum underscore of and write here, here this one and parenthesis you can write the anything 10,000 times means it possible yeah, right. so let's see here writing here and then you can get something like Four. Okay. Yeah. I think return at eighteen, return and four. Yeah. So it has been created like this. So this code shows the original sum of underscore n functions with the timing called embedded before the after the summation so the functions return a tuple consisting of the result and the amount of time in seconds required for a calculation if we perform five in occasions of the function it's computing the sum of the first 10,000 integers. First, just look at first 10,000 integers, and I range I have written five. So we get this type of results. But I try again the time required for each run, or through like a longer. So is it possible to? Yes, it is possible to you can generate the same time. So let's see, just I am writing here this code only and time I am going to extend. So let's see, it's just Okay, don't worry. First, I am going to write here. Don't worry. Just I am going to write here for I in range and need to write here a five and here this one. Now the print. Parenthesis, column, sum is sum is like a percentage day required percentage like a ten. dot till 7f this decimal point look like that 7f seconds and then percentage after this write down here so you can write the sum underscore yeah, ten to this function and parenthesis so in like a 
and you try this one so if I write here same thing so let's see what is the difference between these things so I have written here 1 tens 100 thousand 10 thousand lakhs 10 lakhs so your output has been given look like this so in this case the average again turns out to be about like you can count here so 10 times like a 10 times look here here is the 5000 so here you can write here more than this 10 times the previous so now just I want to describe here which means this code like means it shows a different mean of solving the summations problem. So this functions means sum underscore of underscore n and three and take a advantage of the close to the like a equation like here uh, you can write here sigma uh, you can write here I try to write here something is it possible to write so sigma you can start i will equal to 0 until n and i will equal to n into n plus 1 by 2 so you can also define another code so let's see so if i write here def sum of underscore n and now the another is the 3 and it will start from the n return n now multiply n plus 1 and this will divide by 2 now print sum underscore of underscore and 3 look like a 10 so let's go into here just can print here you have gotten so this return and print 3 and 10 like this one average will equal to Yeah. So n sum n sum yes. Write this one. So we do the same. But we need to write here something mm, like if I use a for loop, so for i in a range means 5 something this. So let's see, just if I 
want to write here print this one for i is a range and something so you can create the same thing so where is this here if i write here i for i in so i am using here for i in a range 5 something range 4 and then try to the print here let's try only don't worry this one is the same functions so it is for i in a range and we equal to 5 i think i need to do something like i have been created yeah it has been printed like 55 55 55 something this but i want to start to look like this because to find the compute here something define sum of n okay n3 as a n and return n now n will multiply here n plus 1 divided by So I think n plus 1 and it, is, it has been something like a mistake. Yeah, it is a possible to look like this. Not this. Yeah, so don't need to the right here. So then. Perfect. So then we can write here this way and let's try here return and print then we can get all divided by 2 and n will multiply in n into multiplied n plus 1 and whole divided by 2 then sum of so and 3 if you write the 10 means you can start from the 1 and all value will be look like this let's see just if I change here 12 so what happened yeah 78 by 2 so we can do the same bench mark as uh, the 5 like a uh, n 10 and if you write here the 100 if you write here 100 so look here and if you write the 1000 right. so this one you can easily get print the sum of 1000 so there are two important things we have to notice about this output first the times recorded above are shorter than any of the previous example and second they are a very consistent no matter what the value of n and it appears that 
same look here sum underscore of underscore n 3 is hardly impacted by the number of integers being added because you can see just these are the different so what does this benchmark really tell us we can see that the iterative solutions seem to be doing a more work since the sum program step are being repeated and this is likely the reason it is taking a longer and also the time required for iterative solutions seems to increase as we increase the value of n so there is a problem so if we run the same functions on a different computer or use a different programming language we would likely get a different results it could take even longer to perform the sum underscore of underscore n underscore 3 you can write here the not a underscore 3 is also don't worry so i didn't write here so only n3 so if the computer were older so we knew to the better way to uh, characterize this algorithm with a respect to execution time so the benchmark technique computer are actually time to execute it doesn't really provide us with a useful measurement so because it dependent on a particular machine program time of day compilers and programming language so we would like to have the characterizations that is independent of the program of computer being used and this measure could then be useful for judging the algorithms alone and could be used to compare the algorithm across implementations so this is the basic so let's I will discuss the next video like a big O notations and similarly the what is the difference how to use the log big O like one constant log n logarithms n linear n log n log linear n square as a quadratic n cube cubic and 2 to the power n exponential so I try to describe in next video so thank you i think this video will be helpful to algorithms analysis